Uh, Baltimore is a uh, is an example of what corrupt government leads to. Billions of dollars have been given, and I feel so sorry for the people of Baltimore. And if they ask me, we will get involved. But we're already involved from the standpoint that over many years, billions and billions of dollars have been given to Baltimore. It's been misspent. It's been missing. It's been stolen with a lot of corrupt government. And as you know, uh, Cummings has been in charge. I think I'm helping myself because I'm uh, pointing out the tremendous corruption that's taken place in Baltimore and other Democratic-run cities. All you have to do is look at the past mayors in Baltimore, see what happened. No, I think I'm helping myself. I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world when con men, who I've known all, you know, almost all my business life, because I had to deal with them, unfortunately, in New York, but I got along with them, Al Sharpton. Uh, now, he's a racist. He's a racist. But when people, when people, let me explain to you. What I've done for African Americans in two and a half years, no president has been able to do anything like it. I think if that's the case, I'd be shocked. But if that's the case, they're fighting against their people because the African American people have been calling the White House. They have never been so happy as what a president has done. Not only the lowest unemployment in history for African Americans, not only opportunity zones for really a big, the biggest beneficiary of the inner city, and not only criminal justice reform, but they're so happy that I pointed out the corrupt politics of Baltimore. It's filthy dirty, it's so horrible, and they are happy as hell. So you may have a couple of politicians boycott, but it's all a fix, it's all a fix. The fact is African-American people love the job I'm doing because I'm working for them. I'm not working for the politicians.